Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Leanne. Today I'd like to talk about jumping timelines and the Mandela Effect. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the Mandela Effect where a lot of people recall a false memory at the same time. And it's kind of mind-boggling because you could have thousands of people recalling the same memory and when you look at it, you know, like if you search online or you talk to somebody about it, it is completely different from what we all recall. The reason why it's called the Mandela Effect is it was named after Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela, um, he died in 2013. However, many, many people distinctly remember him dying in prison in the 1980s. And his death isn't the only example of the Mandela effect. There's so many other um, things that we falsely recall. You know, whether it's from um, labels, you know, specific labels, we might recall it uh, being a specific look or color or words. Like um, one of the examples that I've seen was a lot of people recall the peanut butter Jif being called Jiffy. And I remember that as well, Jiffy peanut butter, but it's not. It's Jif. And uh, another one is the Berenstain Bears. A lot of people um, recall it as Berenstain Bears, but it's Berenstain Bears apparently. Um, so anyways, there's just, there's a lot of uh, things that, you know, we we recall a certain way and many people do and it's not really reality and so that's the Mandela effect. So a lot of people um, you know in the manifesting community or the spiritual community believe that the Mandela effect really is an alternate universe. So the reason why we feel or they feel that people are recalling these memories is because you are jumping a different timeline. So you may actually experience this in your life where you know something is a specific way or was a specific way you recall a specific memory. And when you're revising, you could jump into a different timeline, parallel universe, whatever, you know, how you want to call it, a state where others are also recalling this memory in the new way that you have revised it. And that happened to me as well. I was recalling a memory that I wanted to change, revise. And so I was revising it to a specific way and when I was talking to somebody about it, they actually recalled it in the new way that I was revising, not the original memory. And they actually, I mean, they had no way of knowing that I was revising this into a new, um, more positive memory. So, I mean, that's not like, you know, many, many people, but I guess that could be kind of like um, considered a Mandela effect because somebody else is remembering the same things that I am when in reality something different had happened. So when you are revising or trying to step into a new state, you know, don't worry if people are recalling things in a different way than you because that could mean that you actually jumped that timeline. You jumped into a parallel universe. So look at it like that, you know, not like, why are they saying that? That never happened, you know? It could be actually that, okay, well, I'm actually going to see the things that I have been focusing on or revising or whatever now that, I, you know, other people are recalling things in a different manner. It could be that. So... I hope that made sense. Um, let me know if anybody ever um, had experienced the, the Mandela effect and was surprised to find the reality of what it really was out there. And uh, I'd really like to know in the comments and start a discussion because I find that a very interesting topic when I look things up and, you know, you can go down that rabbit hole and just realize that, oh my God, this 
is how I thought about it and that's not even reality. Anyways, thank you for joining me today. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video.